Welcome to the shooting show. This week it's a high seat stint with Stuart Wilson. Plus we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. had a uh, location that needed a uh, high seat um, but wanted to build a high seat that was um, more portable than some of the boxes already have so started off with 12 foot lengths of uh, 4x2 and marked out the spacings for the footrest and then the rungs of the ladder ready to strike over those with a, a right angle square clamp the two pieces of the ladder together obviously avoiding the areas where I was going to um, cut the notches out, made a slave piece of wood that matched the width of the stock that I had and basically marked down from the right angled piece marking the waste that was then going to be cut out. Making a series of cuts with the chop saw able to get the waste out and then chip away with a hammer and then smooth the cut down with the chisel. Um, it's not um, a cabinet making finish that I'm looking for. At the end of the day it's panelised wood so as long as I'm getting a good mechanical fit and something that's going to give me a good service life then you should end up with a set of matching notches on both sides of the ladder that you can then drop your rung pieces into which are basically the same 4x2 wood checking for fit getting them all into place before I put any fixings in with the final job of securing the rungs with a couple of screws at either side and then just double checking the width that I've got on the bottom and then the top. And then it's a simple case of quickly putting four screws into each of those rungs and your ladder is done. In the next video I'll uh, cover how I make the seat portion of the high seat.
Stuart doing well to bag an unexpected fox there. And now it's the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. The age of lead-based shot is coming to an end as leading shooting organisations issued a joint call for sportsmen to phase out their use of lead for live quarry shotgun shooting within five years. The GWCT, British Game Alliance, Basque, the Countryside Alliance, the CLA, the Moorland Association, the NGO, Scottish Land and Estates and the Scottish Association for Country Sports all co-signed the announcement, which aims to ensure shooters take responsibility for the move away from lead, rather than having politicians dictate when and how it happens. The organisations say a complete transition is now achievable thanks to advances in the quality and availability of non-lead shotgun cartridges, as well as the advent of recyclable plastic cartridges and water-soluble wads. They say this is an opportunity to take the initiative and ensure shooters preserve their reputation as conservation leaders. A statement said, while tradition is important in shooting and should be defended where possible, so is evolution if we are to continue to maintain our position at the heart of the British countryside. Shooting has changed greatly over the years and this move is just the next step in that illustrious history. Elsewhere, there's relief in England after DEFRA extended the current general licences until the end of July. This means any planned changes to the licences won't take place for six more months. Basque have said that this gives a window of certainty to the rural community. DEFRA is still reviewing the licences, but the UK's largest shooting organisation says the extension allows the countryside to operate as normal at a crucial time of year. And finally, the Northern Shooting Show has unveiled another initiative to get youngsters into shooting, called the Passport to Shooting. By buying the passport for just £5, youngsters get access to taster sessions in a whole range of field sports activities. There's clay shooting with the CPSA coaches on the clay line, air rifle shooting with the Virac HW30, a go on the Basque shooting stimulator on the AIMCAM stand, a go at Bell target shooting with the Lincolnshire Bell Target League, and a game preparation demo from Simon Whitehead. To buy tickets, head to the address on screen. That was the Shooting Show News. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell for more videos. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.